In this video, I'm going to show you how to lower your time to first bite by teaching you the lesson of the four bench grinders. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 277 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. Also work in Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them, update them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term, long-term, or even just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersault.com, and let's talk. Okay, what is the lesson of the four bench grinders? Well, a friend of mine, his dad has a really large shop full of lots of tools and probably some clutter. And in every corner of that big shop, he has a bench grinder. Now, most places only have one bench grinder. Everybody walks to it to use it. But he wanted a bench grinder that was closest as possible, depending on which part of the shop that he was in. So even in the middle, there's probably one that's easier to get to because of the path. But he's got the bench grinders in all four corners, so he's always closest to one and doesn't have to do a lot of traveling to the others. Now, what does this have to do with your time to first bite? Well, the time to first bite is this. Let's look at Wikipedia as we turn our attention to the screen. Time to first bite is a measurement used as an indication of the responsiveness of a web server or another network resource. So basically, when someone types in the domain of your website and clicks enter, your browser calls out to the internet and says, I want to see the page at this domain. By the way, where is that computer? And then that request goes out and tries to find that information. And then when it finds it, it talks back. And the time that it takes to go out and come back is the time to first bite. Now, most often your domain has its name servers and zones stored in just one place. So if anyone in the world is looking for it, they've got to find that information from one place. This only has one place for it to check. But if your name servers and zones are known in multiple places, just like those bench grinders in every corner of that shop, Wherever people are entering your domain into their browsers, it's going to look to the closest location, which should be the fastest location to get that information back. And that's going to make your page load faster because your time to first bite is going to be lower. Now, a place and a way that you can do that is by using name servers from Cloudflare. Now, for today, the site that we're going to look at is my cybersalt.net site. It's just a little Joomla site I have. I want to put information on there in case my other sites are down so my clients can know if that ever happens. When we call it, check this out, right here, the time to first bite right now is 519 milliseconds, just over half a second. But I'm going to change this so that the DNS is run through Cloudflare. All right, so to do that, if you've not created an account at Cloudflare, go to cloudflare.com, click on sign up, and then of course create your account, get it all set up, and then follow the next step, which is to log into your site and then click on add a site. Once you're going to add the site, just type in the name of your domain and hit enter. Now, Cloudflare has a number of paid things that you can select, but I'm going to select the free tier right now. And we go continue. And once you click continue, it's going to scan your existing web hosting for the zones for your domain. So as you will see here, here's the control panel for my web hosting for cybersalt.net. Here's all of the zones, but here Cloudflare has imported them all. Now, at this point, there's two really important things you need to do. First of all, you want to not proxy the C name for your mail. Otherwise, mail won't get rooted through your hosting account. It won't get to you. The other thing is, is where it says FTP, you want to not proxy your FTP because I have seen this in the past where people trying to log in with FTP to their web hosting control panel could not with those two things set. But with those taken care of, we can click continue. Now, the next thing we're taking to here is we need to assign Cloudflare name servers. So right now your domain has at least two name servers that are pointing to the computer that you are hosting on. If we go to the profile for this domain, you'll see I've got ns789 and 10.cybersalt.hosting.com. What I want to do now is co copy 
this domain name server, copy it, and go back and replace the first one. We'll go Control V. Now we'll go back here. We're going to click to copy this one, and we're going to replace the second one. And if you have any others, just delete those out. All right. Now, how you change your name servers, you may do that at your registrar. You may have a different web hosting interface that you're doing it on, or this is actually through the billing for my company that I provide web hosting uh, through. All right, so now all we have to do is save those changes, and let's go back to Cloudflare, and we will continue. Now, there's a few things, some bonus things that you can set up here. First of all, improve security, optimize performance, and summary. So let's go get started. Do you want to rewrite all your calls to your site to HTTPS. Now you can do this in Joomla. You can even do this in the HT access file of your web hosting account. But here's the great thing about Cloudflare. Why have your server do stuff when Cloudflare can do it right at the place where they're getting called wherever they're getting called in the world. The more that Cloudflare does, the less your server has to do and the faster your server can run because it's doing less things. So I always say yes, we'll go save. So always use HTTPS? Yes. Uh, always want that. Broadly. Now, if you've heard of gzip, it's a kind of compression that will compress things on your site and then send it out in a smaller packet or a smaller size. And then the person who's viewing your page, their browser unzips it or decompresses it and it makes things faster. Well, Broadly is an even better compression than gzip. And once again, the great thing is that here, Cloudflare can do all the compressing. It's one less thing for your server to do before it sends it all out. Because Cloudflare is also going to cache some of those files. So it's going to compress them and then send them out from there. The less your server has to do, the faster your page is going to be put together and load. So we'll click Save. And that's it. We're just going to click Finish. Now, all we have to do is wait for an email from Cloudflare that tells us that it's, the traffic is now being routed through its name servers instead of the ones that you had. A few moments later. We can now go back to GT metrics where before we had a time to first byte of 519 milliseconds and we can retest where we can see the time to first byte is now 330 milliseconds, making the time to first byte 25% faster just for that little change. Here's the faster loading sites thanks to the lesson of the four bench grinders. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.